I don't really like to use the analogy of like you feel like you're sprinting or like you're running because it's not a race. Like, yeah. literally, once you get the time frame out of your head, like, cause you you can't you can't do that to yourself. Like, if this is your passion and this is your dream, you can't be like, yo, in two years if I don't make this, fuck that, I'm going to get a real job. Like, I was like, literally, for myself, I was like, yeah, this is it. This is gonna be my career, and I'm gonna work as hard as I can for as long as I can until I die. Because there's no Plan B. Like everyone has all these Plan Bs in their head, and like everyone, society wants you to create this Plan B to be safe and like fall back on things. But like I just kind of said fuck Plan B and was just like I'm not gonna do any of that. Like I'm gonna get tattoos. I'm gonna like not get a real job. I'm gonna work at a warehouse and do other things to make time available so i can do music and stuff so i mean like i would say that it's not really about sprinting anywhere it's just a matter of are you in it for the long run or are you in it for this short come up you know there's nothing wrong with either one you know there's people that treat it like a business and very successful at approaching it like a business and then there's the whole approaching it as an artist and doing it for the rest of your life kind of thing and that's kind of what i want to do I want to be able to make music when I'm 60 years old. It might not be house music, but I want to be involved in making some sort of music for the rest of my life.